Emmeline. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a Valentine's Day tea party. And if you guys know me, you know I'm obsessed with tea parties. Even though I'm 21, I think it's still appropriate to have a tea party at any age. And right now I'm holding Cutie and Wilbur because they have been patiently waiting for me to hold them all day while I've been filming. So um, today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make some fun treats. And I'm also going to leave a link for my last tea party video and for last year's Valentine's Day treat video in case you guys want some extra ideas. If you guys want to learn how to have a fun Valentine's Day tea party, then just keep watching. So our first treat is going to be these pretzel kisses and these are pretty basic to make. I feel like a lot of people make these, but we can start off by preheating our oven to 200 degrees. And for this we are going to be needing some Hershey's Hugs, some M&Ms, and some square pretzels. So now I am just lining these on the baking sheet and as I said before, I'm sure most of you guys probably have made these because I feel like a lot of people always make them and um, although they are an oldie, they definitely are a goodie. So now we can take the Hershey's Hugs and we can begin to put these on top of each pretzel. Once these are all assembled, you can pop them in the oven for about 15 minutes. And once they are out of the oven, you can take your M&Ms and place them on top. So I just have a cute little plate here for our tea party. So I'm just going to put these on to the plate and you guys can put these on just a plate or something kind of cute like maybe a tiered plate just to make it look a little bit more girly. Now here is my favorite treat. This was so, so good. So I'm really excited to show you guys this one. I have a few tablespoons of butter here and this recipe isn't very exact. Um, you guys can just kind of take as much as you want of everything. And now I'm just adding in some white chocolate. It doesn't have to be this um, particular brand. You guys could just use whatever type of white chocolate you have. And you just want to keep mixing this to make sure that the chocolate doesn't burn. Now I'm adding in about two handfuls of marshmallows. And once again, you guys can just keep mixing this and making sure that it doesn't burn. So now when our batter is all done, or our little mixture, whatever you want to call it, is done, we can place this on top of popcorn. And I just have a basic popcorn, you guys, I guess could use whatever type you want. I would suggest something that's salty because I think if you use like kettle corn, it would be way too sweet. So now I'm just mixing this together. You can use your hands, but I uh, learned very quickly that it is extremely hot and I actually burnt my hand. But of course I wasn't thinking. I feel like I burn myself every time. Anyway, um, now I just have some of this cute parchment paper from um, TJ Maxx, I believe. And I have these cute little boxes that I got from Walmart. And now I'm just going to place the popcorn into the boxes. So here I'm just adding on some heart sprinkles and these are in super cute colors. I also got these from Walmart from, um, I think they're Wilton actually. And you guys can just sprinkle a bunch of these on. And now I'm going to add some conversation hearts and it just looks so, so cute and girly. I'm obsessed with this. You guys could also add in some kisses or M&Ms, whatever you would like.
So next you're going to be making some heart shaped cinnamon rolls which are super super adorable. So we can start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees. And here I just have some dough. You guys can also just use like the pre-made cinnamon rolls um, and then just like roll them into a heart shape which would probably be the easiest thing to do. But um, I was snowed in and I wanted to still make this video so I had some dough at home so I decided to just make my own. So right now I'm just adding butter sugar and cinnamon to each side of this and now I'm just going to flip it over and just repeat the same process So I'm also adding in some raisins. You guys could also add in pecans or anything else that you guys would like to add. And basically to make a heart shape, we're just going to be rolling in each of the sides into the center. And we can put these in a little like casserole dish or any type of um, like deep dish like I have here. These can bake for about 30 minutes. You guys can also make a icing if you guys want to put on top of this. I just put on some butter once they came out. And this is what they look like and they are super, super adorable. So now it is time to decorate. I got this banner from the dollar section of Target. It was actually $3 but still that's pretty cheap. And I think it was just super adorable so I'm just hanging that up above my table. And this is what the table looks like when it's all done. I think it looks really cute. So I'm just adding on some flowers and some teacups. And now we can add in all of our fun treats that we made. So now I am placing these two little cake stands here and adding on some cupcakes. And now I'm just adding on some of these little cute cupcake toppers, which I believe I got from the Christmas tree shop. And here is the cake that I showed you guys how to make last week. And now it wouldn't be a tea party without some tea. This tea is super adorable. It's from the company Tea Drops. And it's in the shape of a heart and they have stars and flowers. It was just so cute, so I thought I had to show you guys this. And it's basically like a little bath bomb for your tea in a sense. So it is so cool. Um, basically just add water and watch it work its magic. I feel like it's like a little lush bomb for your teacup and I love how it tastes. So next I'm going to show you guys how to make this drink and I totally just kind of came up with this randomly and it ended up turning up into an ombre type of looking drink so it was really cool. So I just started off by adding in some cherry juice and some cherries. Next I added in vanilla ice cream and now I'm adding in some seltzer and as you guys can see it totally just turns into ombre. It goes from a red to pink to a white color and I think it is so cool. And now I'm just topping it off with a straw, which I got from the dollar section of Target. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys do have this Valentine's Day tea party, then be sure to send me some pictures to either my Instagram or Twitter. And I hope you guys are all having a lovely day. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!